All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at VeChain here and as we can see, looking like we have got a little bit of a decent rollover over the past few days. We did see, as I've been saying for many, many videos now, if Bitcoin does start to you know, roll over, basically have a little bit of a retracement and it has actually done that, then we were going to see basically a lot of cryptocurrencies doing the same. You can see VeChain here, obviously we're still in this uptrend here, but looking like potentially starting to run out with out of steam a little bit here, starting to you know get this rounding top formation like this, where we're kind of running out of steam a little bit to the upside currently. And that's because Bitcoin has been doing the same and has started to you know come back and retrace a little bit. And we've seen the same thing for VeChain as a result here. I'm not too concerned about this because I do think you know this was probably a natural naturally going to happen for VeChain obviously we've got this big bearish divergence that we were talking about as well and you know this is probably going to play out sooner rather than later in our opinion we could come down and retest and get a bounce as well in which case I may add to this position of this long depending on how we react at these lows but overall for VeChain you know just reacting to the market basically following what Bitcoin's doing Nothing new there, something that we could easily predict and see happening. Obviously, Bitcoin was running out of steam. It was pretty obvious if you look at its chart. You can see quite clearly that basically what it was doing was coming up like this. And then we had this, you know, overextension here with the bearish divergence. We come up, we, you know, we're grinding to the side and then eventually, you know, we lost support come down to that previous level. So pretty obvious that this was going to happen with VeChain as well. And you can see here, no surprises at all that we've come down to retest some of these, you know, previous swing lows before getting a bit of continuation potentially for VeChain. So overall, we're still, I still think it's probably going to make its way up and I will be trading this range in the immediate short term. I am still bearish on crypto overall over the next few months because we haven't actually seen anything to really to suggest that we're fully out of this bear market situation. You can see still making lower lows and lower highs. This could still be a lower high, followed by another lower low for VeChain realistically, couldn't it? But I do think mid to long term, as I've said previously, one year, five years, ten years down the line, I do think VeChain is going to do very, very well indeed. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching indeed. I'm basically waiting here for VeChain to continue to the upside to the middle of this range to take profits on this long position or come back down here. I might add to this position depending on how we react at these lows. So thank you very much for watching indeed. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.